Right now, right here. Right now, right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think honestly, I mean, most of these festival moments, uh, you know, there's always, it seems like women are generally allergic to shirts a lot of the time, so some of that's quite distracting to try and play guitar and, and women that are allergic to shirts, but uh, Frank? Yeah. <laughs> Pass, pass, yeah, pass, yeah. This is definitely the largest festival I've ever played, and yeah. I did not believe uh, what I was seeing. I mean, at first, you know, you play to the initial audience, right? But then you just keep looking, and it, or it just keeps going. Like as soon as I looked at the back, it was just infinite. I, I did the math it. on it earlier. I was saying to the guys that I grew up in a town of 2,500 people, so when you look out at that and you go like, it's just mind blowing to think that a literally a city of people are just standing there in front of a, of a band watching music. It's, it's a population. It's, it's a, a population. It really is. Yeah. Hundred really percent. You know what's so funny is we've we've had some really, um, you know, I remember uh, we did download last time, and the, and it was kind of like one of those rainy, miserable days, you know, and it was. And we were just covered in mud and you couldn't get away from the mud and we just literally went on stage like that but the show itself was so amazing like it was transcendent pretty much so i remember that i but remember it was being the whole buried. day i remember thinking like oh man this is rough it was just like mm -hmm. it was like the worst day of camping you could imagine covered in mud 100 we had mud. two jackets on i remember and wearing two jackets the whole gig yeah. and, and usually you don't even wear your jacket no it. and a hoodie you got your hoodie on underneath and you're up there but the show itself was so amazing. We've actually, it's been on, on TV and like it was filmed and whatever. And, I, and I've watched it later and went like, wow, it was a very magical night. But These crowds out here endure a lot. They're, yes. They'll brave anything. Absolutely. It's incredible. Yeah. As hard as it is on stage, it's like people have been out for days, you know, living in it. So it's like it really, a bunch of rock stars rolling down their bus crying about the rain. It's like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, on those particular days, I was never quite aware of the uh, wellies, wellies or yeah, rubber exactly. boots or anything of that nature. So um, I would assume if you were coming to the festival, you should probably pack for that. Don't sort wear of... your beetle boots. Don't wear your beetle boots. Or your wellies. Or your Ugg boots or whatever you wear, but some sort of raincoat. His Ugg boots, actually. Don't last wear them a lot longer. Never wear my Ugg boots because I'm quite yeah. possessive. I don't have Ugg boots. <laughs> these festivals somebody from another band I can't remember who it was had said like I don't know if rock and roll is supposed to happen in the daytime and I remember thinking what are you talking about man you looked at you know as a kid you watched Jimi Hendrix play the American National Anthem and and it was sunlight you know and I, I all those concerts that I watched I remember seeing the Us Festival footage and Motley Crue's playing looks that kill in the daytime and I so I, I find that whole thing uh, you know that whole part of the thing really exciting I think the only advice I could pass out of myself is try not to be too distracted by the audience because the audience is so overwhelming to look at you're like it really kind of takes totally. you away from the moment that you're like oh I'm supposed to be playing guitar here I'm supposed to be singing these words here yeah and looking you, out towards the end you're like all right Jesus Christ yeah you you're do like, get distracted. and you just because usually you're just kind of doing your thing off the top but then all of a sudden you'll take a look and you'll realize how far as far as the eye can see there's human beings you know it's that's the most distracting part so it's interesting how considering the other the Australian festivals how we get all excited and go out there and then the people have been sitting in the 120 degree heat the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, these people really aren't excited, but no, they're dead. They're, yeah, they're, barely, they're literally they're dehydrated. Barely alive. Yeah, they usually wake up when the music sort of fires up. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know what advice I would give myself other than just to kind of have a good time. It's really hard not to have a good time, really. I mean, like you say, it's like you know, getting to play. You know, your whole life, you you're working hard to get 100 people into a club when you're a kid, and then all mm -hmm. of a sudden you come out and play to, like I said, like tens of thousands of people, and it's. You know, it's just, it's mind-blowing. It's all you could ever want. Well, of course you have more fun playing. I mean, I, for me anyway, I think that, you know, I'm not 18 anymore, so the idea of sitting in a crowd... You're not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not 18. I'm not even 28 anymore. So... <laughs> <laughs> Break so, into uh, tears. Yeah. No, uh... <laughs> It, it, it would be uh, last. I, I, I've been. I went to all the Lollapaloozas in America and all those kind of things, and they, and they were nuts. You know, I mean, like the whole thing. But they don't. None of them compare to to Europe. None of them at all. And I don't. I don't. It's a whole other animal. It's a whole rock other music. thing. And and the idea of, you know, it happens every year. It happens for multiple days, um, and people come and they, and they and they throw down. But I, for me, it's always. I, I have more fun playing music than doing anything else. I have more fun playing music than you know, than anything else during my day. So of course I would enjoy playing at a festival more than than attending it. I suppose. Attending it and seeing, I don't know, The Who in 1969 at uh, Woodstock, sure, that, that'd be a blast. Let's do yeah. that. 
So, I think that I'd always prefer to play 100%, but the only other time I, w I could kind of match the excitement of playing a festival was seeing Paul McCartney live in a festival setting. That was sure. pretty incredible. So, well, I didn't know you were going to pull that one. Really yeah, so I did. I, I, have to, uh, I have to put you in your place. I'm sorry. Can I, I, can I retake my question? 